I think it's safe to assume that everyone has played a city builder at some point in their life. You might not have even known you were doing it, but how many city builders let you go inside the buildings and build more city? That's twice the city for half the price. Industries of Titan lets you dive into the mostly terraformed moon of Saturn as you take on the role of a newly arrived corporate lackey. Your goal is to build a functioning and ultimately lucrative settlement on the burnout husks of your predecessors while ignoring the sense that you'll probably end up just like them. The only thing you start with is a headquarters full of nothing except a handful of slaves, I mean voluntary employees who will work around the clock and do all of the menial tasks you can come up with. Once you've built a generator, some habitation pods, and fuel collectors that collect the highly flammable gas just hanging out in the air you're breathing, you can make room for your first shipment of civilians. These fickle new inhabitants will gladly hang out in bed and do nothing all day, but you can put them to work in the most capitalist way possible, watching advertisements. That's right, you can generate a small fortune by manipulating the money out of your own citizens. Of course, they'll also want things like breathable air and not living beside a power plant to be happy, so you'll have to reinvest some of that cash in unlocking new buildings like air purifiers or a big-ass fan to just blow the pollution in the other direction. To build all of these large, expensive buildings around your tiny garbage-covered piece of paradise, you'll need to turn random scraps of minerals and isotopes you collect into progressively fancier minerals and isotopes. Here you'll make use of a factorio-like system of processing, transport, and storage to shape those broke-ass materials into bougie, high-class materials that let you build everything you need. Things like fuel collectors, trash burners, truck depots and roads, and even giant defensive cannons to blast rebel scum out of the sky. There's also this crazy trade process with your corporate overlords involving earned favor, trade tickets, and collected artifacts that help you out with some resources. But it's mostly there to allow you to unfuck yourself rather than actually make progress. But that's not all you'll be doing in this game. It seems like the developers were presented with a whole collection of cool mechanics to try and simply said, yeah, we can do that. So you can also construct a shipyard where you can build, design, supply, and launch a boxy behemoth of death to hunt down rebel bases and obliterate them in a simple real-time strategy brawl. And if that wasn't enough, you can always pop inside and name the weapons yourself to pretend you're playing FTL. Even though this collection of every conceivable mechanic provides many hours of time-dilating entertainment building and managing a city and its processes, it's not quite finished. It came bursting out of the Epic Store in early access and crash-landed on Steam to triumphantly continue its early access. But this roadmap has things on it, and that's really all anyone can ask for. Industries of Titan, living the corporate-run dystopian dream of today on the corporate-run desolate moon of tomorrow. This abbreviated review was brought to you by my patrons, Nexus Store, and viewers like you. If you like game reviews that aren't really game reviews and also sound like commercials, act now and like this video and subscribe to see more.